Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Maxwell Render Hot Tips. My name is James Coleman and I'm the Maxwell Render Mentor at the University of Brighton Centre for Design Technology. Today's Maxwell Render Hot Tip is the Viewport Preview. What it is, where to find it, what it does and when to use it. So here I am in Maxwell Studio and I've got my scene rendering along quite nicely in Maxwell Fire. However, due to my fire settings and the nature of the interactive preview itself, it's never going to be as high quality as the real render engine. And if I want to see what my final results will be, I have to click Render, which will open up Maxwell Render and my image will start rendering. However, if I don't want to go through all these stages, there is another alternative. And it's up here in the title bar called Render Viewport. And if I stop the interactive preview for a moment and then render the viewport, you can see exactly what's happening. The viewport is rendering and it's using the same engine as Maxwell Render. It's using the production engine. So in other words, the results you'll see in the viewport will be exactly the same as what you would see in Maxwell Render itself. And this can be useful if the interactive preview isn't giving you the quality or the results that you need. However, obviously in most situations, the interactive preview is the way to go because it's much faster. And for that reason, the interactive preview has pretty much replaced the viewport preview. However, don't forget that it is there because it is still very useful in some situations. And as always, use your better judgment. And any time I want to stop my viewport preview, I can just click in the viewport and it will cancel. And there you go. So that's your Maxwell Render hot tip for this week. Don't forget about the Render Viewport Preview, found in the main title bar between the network render and the fire buttons. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.